Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to do an, a full edit, which means it's going to take somewhat longer than the normal five minutes for my point videos. So let's get going on that. So I'm going to file, open, recent and use this here. It's going to be a raw file, which means it's going to open up in the raw develop persona up here. Um, first thing you might notice, it's a little dark and you can see this up here, there's a big gap on that. So if we go to the basic tab and we turn up the exposure here, we're going to increase the lightness here. What I also do is these three up here, always leave those turned on so they're going to show where we're burning or we're sending things to black. So as I turn this up, see the way it starts to go red and yellow there, that's showing it's, it's basically over burns. If I turn these off, there you go, you don't see them. But I leave those on all the time because it's useful. Notice I've turned this up. This looks okay here, but I'm getting a little bit of that effect in here. Let's look at that in there. See, that's going white. I can address this by going down to shadows and highlights and turning down the highlights. And there you go, and that just turns that off. So control zero again. Maybe a little bit of black, but watch out again for things that are going to turn out. So I turn this down here. See the spots going appearing down here, these coloured spots? That's because these are going completely black. We're burning out just the colours there, the, the green and the blue. If it's OK, just be aware of it. That will just turn it back. But a little bit's OK, as long as you're OK with that being black. Right, what next? Let's have a look at this picture here. It would be nice if this was square on the wall. So we're going to do that with going to the lens and using these here. We could use the tools in the photo persona for uh, perspective, but we'll do it here. We're going to do a view and show the grid, the control or control quote, so I can see what I'm squaring up to and moving up to here so I can see it. So let's do the horizontal first. And as I turn that, that squares up. That looks right about OK there. Then vertically, um, I'm going to do this. Also watch out for keeping this parallel to the edge, because when it's near the edge, people will judge verticality by that. So if I just turn that up there, so that is about nice and square. Double check the others. Yeah, that's OK. So control zero out again so we can see that. And we'll say um, control quote to just take that off. And we'll leave that there. We'll develop that picture from there. The colors look OK elsewhere. So something I'm going to do here is this desk isn't quite that edge isn't quite horizontal so I'm again I'm going to fix that but I'm going to use the mesh warp tool here to do that which can bend a bit so I click once there to put a circle twice there and I'm taking it outside this V here so that I don't distort that straight lines there and I'm going to put a this on the edge there so I can start from here drag and pull that down. That's what I want. There we go. So that's a nice straight line across there and apply that. There we go. Control quote, get rid of that. Now we'll fill in the bits we've missed out. So I'm going to do a select alpha range and select partially transparent. And then we will do a edit in paint. And this will fill in those areas there where we've got a bit of space at the edges there. Notice there's a bit down here because I didn't that mesh up, I didn't quite pull that correctly, but that's okay. So control D, that's out. So now we've got things going to the edge. Notice some things up here like that. This isn't quite done it. So we could fix that with clone brush but we're going to crop it out. We're going to crop across here, so we're not going to bother with that up there. We'll fix things as we go. 
What we will do is if you go down to here and get the in painting brush, we can fix things like this. So I'll just fix that and around here. There we go, something we don't need on there. That takes that out. Notice we've got a bit here, it hasn't really done it fully. We'll just go over that again. That's a bit better. Do that again there. So you can redo it several times until it looks okay. This isn't quite uh, right here, so I'm going to do a clone here. Let's do Alt click back here and paint that up to that. And this I'll I'll do from above there. And just fix off that and this one here. I'm gonna do a bit on the edge of that. See so what that'll do. And you can kind of mess around with this. I'll do this fairly quickly here. And you could even I've got a bit of blue in there, haven't I? So let's fill in that there so it that looks okay. Maybe there as well. There you go, that's better. And now what we're also going to do whilst we're over here is poor chap's cut his finger. So I'm going to fix that. So I'm going to come in down to here, make this a bit smaller. Alt click there and then replace his nail there. Go up. Yeah, so this is fixed there. And then the edge there, um, alt click this, make this small. I've got a very really soft brush up here, you could harden it up, but because this is blurred, it's okay. Yeah, just a few things there to break up any outlines. Control zero, there you go, you won't spot that again. Now, a slightly trickier one, which is down here. So I will use a new layer for this. So add a pixel layer in there and go down to here. And first of all, I'm going to select this background here, go to the selection brush and I'm going to paint over this here. There we go to go down to the end there. I zoom in here and go up the edges here just to check to see whether it's been selected. Okay, that's fine. It's also, I'm going to do a refine, but I'm not going to do anything much with it because all refine does, which is useful, is it softens the edges. So I'm just going to apply that and that is just good enough. Now then, this selection here, I'm going to save as a mask. There you go. And... That's, no, I don't want that for the moment. I'm going to put it down to the bottom just to put it somewhere out the way because I'm going to apply it to this one up here actually. So control zero and then we'll do a control D to get rid of the that because we don't need that anymore. Now this one up here we're going to do some some cloning into here. So I'll select something up here. So use the clone brush this large here. Doing this I want the source as current layer and below so let's let me use both the layers there. So Alt click up here and I can just paint this down here maybe a bit closer to this. Get the colour a bit more matched. We can fix that that again because what we can do is in fact at any time let's just bring the mask up here onto that because that means if I paint over the over the edge of the card, you can see there it's not, it's okay. I'm going to paint up here as well a bit to just blend that back in. I can just, here we go, fix that, just make sure I've got that selected up here. There's all sorts of ways you can do this. I'm doing it quickly here so it's not perfect, but but that masking, see that's 
clone into that. So let's do an alt click up here again. Oh dear me. Uh, alt click in the middle of that. There we go. See, I can fix this fairly good. And that mask just lets me make sure that comes out okay. That bit there is not selecting it, which probably means it's the mask. So if I go to the mask, alt click on the mask. See there, I've got that bit there. So I need to paint that white. So I'll go to the paintbrush, get white, make it a bit smaller. I can paint over those bits there. It'll do. And so when I go back to here, there you go, that's fixed that. Up here, you've got a bit of an edge here. So I'm going to go to that mask here. I'm going to alt click the mask. You can see the way that edge is, ends there. So I'm going to make this a bit bigger here and just smudge that up there so that you know, that edge there is not not so clear. So when you pull out, that looks just fine. So one more thing to do. Let's do a crop. And we'll bring this down here. And I'm just going to check. I'm going to make the side there and the top there about the same. So let's zoom into that. That's about OK. Then down the bottom here, I don't need all that table. So I'm going to come up to, to here. If I went out there, this line here would be a bit intrusive. So I'm going to go just above it. That also means the space here is the same as that space at the top. So control zero to look at that. Apply. There you go. That looks pretty good, doesn't it? Isn't it lovely? The picture of the bottles up there. You've got a diagonal going up with that and he's just very strong face. Perhaps we could put in a bit of sharpening there. So let's go to say the high pass filter on that. It's not, it's not doing this. We don't worry about that because what we want here, go to the blend mode and do linear light because we want to go into his face, get so it's that, make that just a bit sharpener. So turn that up a bit. So you don't want to go with too much there. So typically less than one pixel. And this comes up there nicely. If it's shake, this is because I'm doing everything, it's telling me to sharpen the whole thing. So what I can do with that is I go to that one, I invert the mask, so I can take Control I, which effectively takes that off. So Alt click on that, that's black. So I'm going to paint white to paint it back in again. So go to my paintbrush. So it's white, but I want to paint on the mask. There you go. So this is now painting in sharpening. So I can paint on these areas here, so the face in particular. Around here. There we go. So I'm going to just give this bit around here a bit, of, a bit more sharpening. His hands are R4, this very narrow focus here. I think it was about f2.8 or something like that. It might have been 5.6. There we go. There's a edited picture. It took me a quarter of an hour, but I hope that was interesting. And thank you very much for watching.